In this video, we will walk through the library. I'll show you how it works and how you can use it. First, to share what the library is, it's a place to store and reuse content, such as events like tours, hotels, resorts, restaurants, you name it. This is also where you will create and organize your forms, saved messages, and more. Now, to locate the library, you can access your library when you're on your main dashboard and click library at the top. This will bring you into your library. So this is where you can view all of your library items, create new items, and organize them. When you're creating itineraries and proposals, the library will also be found on the right-hand side of your screen. It will look like this when you're in the Trip Builder. You'll see the library over here on the right-hand side. Now, where the library, when we go back to the main page, this is where you'll be able to organize. You can create library items and edit the library items as well. When you're adding new items to your library, you can do it two ways. You can come directly into the library like I am, click new library item button at the top left hand corner, and then choose what type of item you want to include. Now you can also include things like documents. This is where you can create forms and task lists as well. But if I want to create a library item, I can just go ahead and choose the type of item it will be. And then I can come in here and start filling this out. So I'm just going to type in example library item just to show for this case. And then I can go ahead and fill this out. And then once I'm done, I'm just going to click the done button in the top right hand corner. Now, when I want to use this item in a trip, I can just go directly into that itinerary builder. And then I'm going to come over here on the right hand side of my screen. I'm going to type in the search bar here. I'm just going to type in example library item, which you'll see right here. And this is the item that I created. So now if I wanted to, I can always edit this and customize without editing what was already saved in the library. Now, if you have anything that you've already created in any itinerary or proposal, you can also save those items directly to your library by going in to edit that event. And then down at the bottom, next to the Done button, you can click these three button icon right there and just click Save to Library. That will then go ahead and save this to your library, so that way you'll always be able to find it when you go back out to your main trips list in your dashboard and view Library at the top, just like this. Now, you can also organize your library items with labels. To add labels, you can just go directly into the library like I am, click on the item, and then if you scroll down, you'll see this labels option. And this is where you can give new labels. So you can say Italy here, or you can create your own items if you want as well. You can also search your items right in here at the search bar at the top, or if you ever want to narrow down and filter by category, you can do that on the left hand side and click the drop down menu that says none selected and then go ahead and choose the one that you want. So I could go ahead and just narrow down to my saved messages and see these listed in here as well. So thank you so much for watching and make sure to check out more of our getting started videos, including one about library sharing.